Kamala Harris promised Tuesday to put country above party and above self in the closing argument of her presidential campaign, delivering her message from the same site where Donald Trump fomented the Capitol insurrection to emphasize the sharp choice voters face. One week out from Election Day, the vice president used the address from the grassy ellipse near the White House to pledge to Americans that she would work to improve their lives while arguing that her Republican opponent is only in it for himself. Unlike Donald Trump, I don't believe people who disagree with me are the enemy, Harris said. He wants to put them in jail. I'll give them a seat at my table. And I pledge to be a president for all Americans. To always put country above party and above self. The vice president also pledged to restore the abortion rights that were overturned by the Supreme Court in 2022. I will fight to restore what Donald Trump and his hand-selected Supreme Court justice took away from the women of America, Harris said. The Supreme Court, with three Trump appointees justices, overturned federal protections of abortion in 2022. Abortion has since become one of the most motivating issues for the Democratic base in the 2024 election. But I know that many of you are still getting to know who I am. America, we know what Donald Trump has in mind. More chaos, more division, and policies that help those at the very top and hurt everyone else. I offer a different path. And I ask for your vote. And here is my pledge to you. I pledge to seek common ground and common sense solutions to make your life better. I am not looking to score political points. I am looking to make progress. I pledge to listen to experts, to those who will be impacted by the decisions I make, and to people who disagree with me. Unlike Donald Trump, I don't believe people who disagree with me are the enemy. He wants to put them in jail. I'll give them a seat at the table. I pledge to you to approach my work with the joy and optimism that comes from making a difference in people's lives. And I pledge to be a president for all Americans. And to always put country above party and self. And I believe in the fundamental freedom of Americans to make decisions about their own bodies and not have their government tell them what to do. I will fight to restore what Donald Trump and his hand-selected Supreme Court justices took away from the women of America. women in America, think about it. And look, I think we all know, one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to simply agree the government should not be telling her what to do with her body. Not the government. And when Congress passes a bill to restore reproductive freedom nationwide, as President of the United States, I will proudly sign it into law. Proudly. I will strengthen, not surrender, America's global leadership. And I will stand with our friends because I know that our alliances keep American people safe and make America stronger and more secure. 
Look, world leaders think that Donald Trump is an easy mark. Easy to manipulate with flattery or favor. And you can believe that autocrats like Putin and Kim Jong-un are rooting for him in this election. I will always uphold our security, advance our national interest, and ensure that the United States of America remains as we must forever be a champion of liberty around the world. Russia and North Korea's Treaty on Strategic Partnership does not violate international law, Russia's Sergei Lavrov stressed on Monday. The treaty is not secret, it is open. The entire text has been published. It does not in any way violate any provisions of international law, because it assumes, among other things, the provision of assistance to each other in case one of the countries participating in the treaty is attacked militarily, Lavrov said. Russia's position in terms of relations with North Korea is absolutely honest and open, Lavrov added during a news conference with his Kuwaiti counterpart Abdullah Ali al Yehya. North Korea said Tuesday its top diplomat is visiting Russia, in another sign of their deepening relations as rival South Korea and Western nations say the North has sent thousands of troops to support Russia's military operation in Ukraine. The US said North Korea has sent about 10,000 troops to Russia, who are expected to arrive in battlefields in Ukraine within the next several weeks. Что касается наших отношений с Корейской Народно-Демократической Республикой, то мы уже не раз говорили, что договор не является секретным, он является открытым, весь текст опубликован, и он ни в коей мере не нарушает никакие положения международного права, потому что предполагает, среди прочего, оказание содействия друг другу в случае, если на одну из стран участниц договора будет совершено военное нападение. Так что здесь наша позиция абсолютно честна, открыта.